Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Vanin and today we are going to be continuing on um, from where we left off last time uh, where I showed you some stuff over there. You can just about see it and just out of render. Um, this stuff over here. So uh, I was teaching you how to um, build on a, on a hill and on a slope and in awkward locations. And at the end of that video I said I was going to build a base over here so using the very very outside parts of herbivore island um, so the base itself uh, will have access to herbivore island via this part we'll have a section here we'll have a section here and we'll also have more access over here um, now why would you want to do this well, number one, it's quite cool. It's quite a little cool challenge um, to set yourself. Um, it's not the easiest of builds to do, and it incorporates an awful lot of what um, I've shown you how to do. So things like um, building on a slope. So how to go from here down. Um, also as well as how you can use pillars to give yourself uh, foundation support to go from one side to the other. And practically as well, Herbivore Island is a great location to um, start on in Ark because with it, the name kind of gives it away. Only herbivores spawn over here. So there's you don't have any issues with any predators over here. And also you can see there is a ton of resources, tons of rocks for stone, tons of trees, tons of plants um, for your fiber. You've got things like ankies over here. Um, you've got all sorts over here. And also, up the top here, you've got really, really rich metal nodes. Now, the most common place for people to build, if they build on Herbivore Island, is in here. And by doing so, you shut off a huge amount of the, the rock spawns and the big trees. Uh, and there's even a chance of you turning off some of these metal spawns as well. And the more you build, the more you shut off the spawns of the creatures as well um, so they spawn quite heavily on the back side of the island and by doing so you then reduce the amount of resources now if you're playing on a um, a server where there's other people they can get a little bit annoyed that um, things like the metal spawns are being cut off and such because this is one of the safest places to come and farm metal so by building over here you cut all of that off, um, but you can still give yourself the access to one of the coolest parts about Herbivore Island, which is the bay here. Um, and inside the bay here is plenty big enough for you to even fit a Mosa um, or a Tuso as well, the, the giant squids. Um, and they easily fit in there. I mean, you can see in there we've got three Megalodons in there already. Um, uh, four if you count over here so this is where we are going to build um, I'm going to do this all in one episode um, so it's going to mean that there's going to be uh, sections where I'm going to speed the video up um, as you don't need you're not going to re particularly require me to talk you through absolutely every single step um, but we will start with this section here now you may have noticed that i was doing the flying around thing and that is because i'm in creative mode um for builds like this um and stuff i'm not the biggest um, fan of creative mode builds and stuff like that um i would much prefer to and as and when i will sort of stop and if there's a um, a way that i can teach you how to do something uh, without flying I certainly will do um, but for the purposes of you being able to see what I'm doing um, you're going to need more of a perspective which is why you'll see me flying around in, in uh, videos that I do like this but without further ado um, we need some of them and we need some of them so what we need to do is we need to try and um, with our first um, foundation be able to get the right um, orientation of stuff so we're going to be using the circular foundation um, techniques 
that we learned um, in a previous video. So, we can then use the orbital camera mode to see if we are in the right sort of um, pain or not and if we and that's pretty good what we're trying to do is we're trying to line it up with the center um, down the front there maybe a touch over Let's try that. So we stick the others down as so, and then we need to come off like that. Now we're not going to be able to stick anything there. So if we use the stairs like we did on the last video, then I can then bring it down like so. And the same will go as such. To build up out and around. And then we have here where we can then build forwards and then we need to then come from there and head over towards there. So this is the start. If I back up, you can then see there and we're then going to want to head over towards there We've got this one kind of lined up here. We'll be able to come across into here. Now I've put these foundations down purely and simply to stop everything from growing back again because I don't really fancy having to clear everything um, six or seven times during the course of this, uh, this video. Um, and then once we get over here, we can create a section here and then bring a section across. Now this section across here is pretty much a straight run as long as you can get these foundations lined up um, really well um, then you can just do a straight run across here which means you can do much wider which means then you can get dinos up and down as well um, and I'm also as well going to um, show you how you can incorporate a gate in here because this will be our way in and out of the bay. Um, so, with that in mind, head back over to this section, and time for me to basically get this sped up a bit, um, and I'll get stuff put down, I'll stop and start the speedy uppy bits, um, to if there's anything I need to sort of like tell you, but other than that, um, yeah, let's get on with it.
Okay, so we are back. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the speedy uppy bits and the music. Um, so we have the bridge over on this side, the greenhouse. Um, I spared you all even more um, speedy uppy bits um, when I came to planting the greenhouse, putting plumbing in and also finishing off the top of this tower. And I also spared you um, having to watch me do all of the walls all the way round uh, the outside um, of the walkways. Um, so if we uh, just go up into the air we can look down and see that we've connected from the two points that stick out from Herbivore Island and the two little islets um, at the top there. Uh, we've got the main base bit there. We've got a, um, a greenhouse, which I'll take you inside and let you have a look around in that as well in a second. Um, and we've then got a hatching area over there, including a bit, bit of an area to do some breeding. Um, down here, we've got a section for our grinder and also for our industrial forge. Um, and then there's the, the lattice work of uh, stuff underneath the water there. Uh, that's designed there to um, give structural support. Um, I cut that out um, from the speed sped up bit, um, mostly because you couldn't really see what I was doing. Um, so what I'll do is, is I'll um, chuck a link um, which will appear in the um, top right hand corner for you guys um, for this over here because effectively the stuff that I was doing was just kind of in reverse um, I was using pillars and ceilings and stuff to create structural support so I'll chuck that in but we shall head over um, here and I shall give you a little bit of a tour so inside of here we have our greenhouse that you saw me building um, we have the water all plumbed in and that's just sticking out through there um, the way I do gardens is I do the large crop plots for um, the crops and then I do the small crop pot plots for berries because they actually yield exactly the same amount um, whether you put them in a large one, whether you put them in a medium one um, but if you put them in a small one on one foundation you can get four so it just seems much much better um, learnt that when I was uh, growing endless crops when gachas first came about um, I, I still have the scars from that one so we then go inside of the main base so inside of here we have everything pretty much that you could ever possibly want got our fridges over on the side here we've got our grill generator um, and a couple of cryo fridges um, got two chem benches, a cooker, a fabricator, and then I got a little bit funky with um, the layout of the um, smithies. Um, when I first started playing Ark, I used to only ever use one smithy. Um, and then during a story mode playthrough on Flinger Foo's um, servers, um, playing alongside um, a few other guys and one guy in particular um, we always ended up having more smithies and now I 100% agree um, it is the way forwards having more than one smithy um, if you don't do it create yourself some room and give it a go trust me having a smithy just for doing saddles having one just for making ammunition um, really does help um, so we can then climb up here um, up to the next level now the let next level um, literally can be for whatever you want to put up here um, you could do anything stick another dino gateway there if you wanted to because that's four high just the same um, as below stick another dino gateway and put flyers in here if you wanted to you really can do absolutely anything that you want 
make more storage um, and such stuff like that if you'd like to. Um, climbing up the top here, um, this is the roof um, above. Um, I chose to make it out of a combination of Adobe and uh, greenhouse glass. These guys can make it out of anything you like, uh, metal, anything you want. Um, I've used some greenhouse glass up here and I've used some um, uh, metal railings. Um, combination of something different to look at as opposed to it all being wood. Um, and also, once you get up this high, you've got some pretty good views up here. Now, uh, the next bit is the roof. Um, up here, uh, you will need to snap the ceiling um, to the windows below. Uh, you'll notice that uh, I've just deleted the um, door frames, which I forgot to delete. Um, I actually cut and delete those just in case um, the whole roof fell down and then I would have um, ended up with me crying on YouTube um, and I really didn't want to do that. So um, you can snap the um, the ceiling here straight to um, the greenhouse glass bits. I really cannot talk today um, as nothing will snap to the railings above. So. Uh, you are going to need to alter the pattern from below. So where you've got um, the square piece and then the triangles and then the square piece coming off the triangles. Well, if you follow that religiously, then you will then struggle massively with um, being able to create the structural support for the second layer, which is this layer here. Um, so you go square piece, uh, where there's a square piece and then another square piece coming off, meaning you can then do this section here. Um, as I'm using, you can use full walls if you want. Um, I just decided to use the um, uh, the double door frames um, as that was the way that I chose to go. You can completely fill in all of these bits if you want to. Um, up here is great for using storage and stuff like that if you want to stick um, stuff up here. Um, if you're basing with a few people then people can have their individual storage up there um, and stuff like that and you can put um, as many beds as you need up here so moving on we will head back down and then open the dino gateway here looking back of course it's raining it's the island why wouldn't it rain? Coming through here, we've got another dino gateway. You don't have to put it. Um, it doesn't really do anything um, other than kind of creates a, a visual sectioning off. Um, there is no reason for it. Inside of here, uh, as you saw in the video, we have a section for hatching up eggs. Um, again, the theme of the metal railings. Um, I like the metal railings. You can see through them, um, but it does give a little bit of um, protection. Although from Herbivore Island, you don't really have uh, much that's going to uh, going to attack you at all. This area here, um, you could do as crafting or as storage, um, dinos, um, all sorts. Um, you can have it as a little dock area because on the outside of uh, Herbivore Island, lead sickthus do spawn. They are a thing. Um, and they do not like rafts at all. A bit mean of them, really. Um, so you can stick your raft in here. Uh, this is the bridge over the top. And then we come down over here um, to the section, which is like our refining area. Again, we can stick more storage out here. Um, you can kind of get away with sticking a raft um, round about here um, as you've got those those rocks below which mm, will probably um, protect from um, from a lead sick this but no guarantees or promises just because I said it doesn't mean it's true um, 
what I, one thing I would probably recommend um, is try and um, potentially play around a little bit more um, and get the Dino Gate, uh, the Behemoth Gate here, um, a little bit higher. Um, it's sitting a little bit further forwards than what I'd really want it to, um, thus meaning that it's very difficult for you to get um, like a taming raft or something through that door uh, because it is very, very low. There's the water line there. Um, ultimately, you'd probably want it a little bit further back, um, thus making it a, you know, a little bit higher. Um, but you get the picture, you get the idea. That is using the various techniques um, that I've shown over the past few few um, videos. That is how you create yourself a base on Herbivore Island without actually affecting any of the resources on Herbivore Island. So, if you like the build, um, then chuck me a like um, if you haven't subscribed yet i would love it if you did and remember guys um the comment section below if you know any other way of doing anything if there's anything that you'd like to share um then feel free chuck it in there um, and like i've said on a few of the builds now um just because i do um something doesn't mean it's gospel doesn't mean it's the complete right way of doing something it's just the way i do it um so if, the, if you have another way of doing something chuck it in those comments below um and guys i hope you have a fantastic day catch you on the next one